The father made a deal with the devil to avenge the death of his family, and the best fighters in the world enter into mortal combat to save the earth from destruction. Hi guys, Avran Zed is with you. Today we will analyze the plot of the 2020 science fiction action film, Legends of Mortal Kombat, Scorpion's Revenge. In Japan, Hanzo Hasashi, a great warrior and head of the Shiraiyu clan, shows his son Sadoshi, a mighty scorpion. Scorpio desperately resisted the huge army of ants. Hanzo explains that this requires incredible willpower. The two then return home but are ambushed by the rival Lin Kuei clan. Hanzo fights skillfully. When he sees that there are too many enemies, he takes his son and hurries back to his hometown with him. But in the village, the mighty warrior freezes with shock. The Lin Kuei clan have killed all his fellow clansmen, and not even his wife was spared. The head goes into a rage and massacres all the mercenaries in an incredibly brutal manner. At this moment, Sub-Zero, the head of the Lin Kui clan, appears, who grabs Satoshi and freezes Hanzo to the ground. Sub-Zero kills the boy in cold blood, and his sobbing father vows to avenge him. But the next moment, the villain kills the man. Meanwhile in China Shaolin monk Liu Kang is meditating in a temple when he is suddenly attacked by a mysterious stranger. The guy barely manages to overpower the formidable opponent and bring him to the ground. Liu Kang is surprised to see that it is his teacher Lord Raiden who was testing the student before the upcoming major battle in his life. Sonya Blade, an experienced special forces officer, fights in a street brawl against a huge bulky man. The big guy quickly takes the initiative in his own hands, counting on an easy victory. So Sonya has to gather all the will in a fist and remember the hardest training in the army to fight back the cocky big man. In the end, Son Ya wins, and the disgraced big man loses half of his teeth. After the fight, a mysterious stranger approaches the girl and invites her to the death battle tournament. Sonya agrees to attend the tournament when she learns that her nemesis Kano will be there. Hanzo suddenly regains consciousness in the depths of the underworld, chained in chains, where a huge demon is torturing the dead man. The demon grins devilishly and declares that it will last for eternity. But Hanzo, even after death, turns out to be a tough nut to crack. He deftly frees himself from his shackles, grabs a sharp sword, and cuts the fearsome monster in half. Hanzo deals with the hordes of demons and soon finds himself face to face with a powerful sorcerer Quan Shai. The sorcerer convinces the dead man to return to our world, take part in a deadly battle, and steal a powerful key amulet for his master Shinoko. In return, he promises to resurrect his family and give him a chance to get even with Sub-Zero. Hanzo agrees without hesitation and declares that he is now a scorpion. Lord Raiden and Liu Kang are waiting for Sonyu on their ship. And then comes the last fighter from Earthrealm unemployed, self-confident actor Johnny Cage, who naively believes he's on the set of for another action movie. Soon the fighters arrive on a mysterious island where the tournament will be held. That must be the bad guy. Scorpion also reaches the island and tries to steal the amulet. But at that moment, Lord Raiden appears and explains to the lost man that Quan Shai is deceiving him and will never resurrect his family. The incredibly powerful sorcerer Shang Sun, who owns the island, declares to the crowd that this is a decisive tournament between the champions of the outside world and the fighters of Earth. If the humans lose the battle, our planet will be destroyed and become the property of a fearsome and ruthless emperor of the outside world, Shao Kahn. Shang Tsung orders to bring a prisoner, Sonya's partner, Jax, captured by the mercenary Kano. Jax is horrified to learn that he is to fight in an arena against the huge champion of the outside world, Goro.
Shang Tsung orders the fight to begin immediately, and everyone realizes that Jax doesn't stand a chance against the hideous giant. Goro plays with his opponent like a small child, and then with incredible cruelty rips off both of his arms and is about to finish him off. At that moment, Lord Raiden appears and easily throws the champion of the outside world off. Then he stops the bleeding of the Earth Fighter. Lord Raiden threateningly declares that the tournament has not yet begun and tells him to follow the rules. Shang Tsung has to obey. The sorcerer returns the wounded Jax to his dungeon and officially declares the Mortal Kombat open. Each of the defenders of the Earth is then transported to a separate area to fight. Johnny Cage still thinks what's going on around him is cheap special effects. When he is suddenly attacked by Baraka, the actor barely dodges the sharp blades of the enemy. During the fight, Barak accidentally ignites the gunpowder in the nearby barrels. 